Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server uh, tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to create a partition file group. In table partition, each group of data can go and sit in different disk drive so we can achieve that by means of file groups so we already talked about file group and you can refer the below video to know more about the file groups so you can use the same playlist and video number is 04. Alright, now let's uh, go to the demo. Here we are at uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Our goal is to create four file group because we know that our partition function will split data into four groups we want to keep uh, four groups in uh, different storage location then you have to create four file groups now let me go with uh, adventure works properties because that's where the person table exists here under the file group let me expand it or maximize so here we need to create four group right so i'm clicking add file group four times person group one group 2, group 3 and group 4. So that's all. Now let's go to files. Here we can click the add button and choosing the logical name as below 6k six 6k six to 12k that's one group group 12k to 18k above 18k so that's how here we are grouping it if you see previously we created a file group i mean four groups here we are actually creating the file and logical name we are giving it as below 6k group 6k to 12k group 12k to 18k and above 18k so here under the file group we can pick person g1 this is g2 g3 and group 4 so remaining stuff we can leave at is, as it is this initial size is that's the size allocated initially 8 MB so auto growth also we can leave as it is but here we need to change the path for that so D trim D drive temp2 is free so we can choose that
and if you need to name your file you can do that as well here we are stating it as pg1 group dot ndf so if you see here we specified the group below 6k and this is second group third group fourth group and the data stores in a different file name but in a real world situation um, the path path will be from uh, different location or even different uh, drives so we can call that as a write drive in a real production system so they will point to different write drive based on the uh, growth in the data all right so now we can click ok and if you see in the temp the files are created and the initial size we specified it as 8 mb that's why here you are seeing 8 and later when we start adding the data the stuff will go and sit into these specific uh, um, ndf files so that's all we created the file group we can look at that once again file group if we see here there are four group and each one contains one file then here we created four file group for uh, the partition so at this moment partition function is ready and partition groups also ready in the next video we will link the partition function with this group using the partition scheme all right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye